In this video, we are going to understand about the congruence of triangle, the ASA rule. Just like the earlier ones, ASA stands for angle, side, angle. Now this rule is very simple, just like the earlier ones that you saw. The rule says that if in two triangles, let's say A, B, C and L, M, N. So triangle ABC and triangle LMN. Now these two triangles will be congruent when two corresponding angles. So let's say you have angle A 1, angle B 2. You have angle L 1, you have angle M 2. The rule says that if two angles of a triangle in this example, it's angle, side, angle. So, if two angles of a triangle, in our cases, it is 1 and 2, and the side between these two angles, which is AB in this case and LM in this case, are equal, then the triangles are congruent. So, basically, triangle ABC will be congruent to triangle LMN where angle 1 is equal to angle, okay, let me just reword this, let's say this is 3 and this is 4, is equal to angle 3, angle 2 is equal to angle 4 and side AB is equal to side LM. If these two, if these three property holds true, then triangle ABC is congruent to triangle LMN. The what follows is that if these two triangles are what these two triangles are congruent, then side BC, which is written like this, is going to be equal to side MN. Again, these two side AC is equal to side LN. Right? And let's say this is angle 3 and this or angle 5 and this is angle 6. Angle 5 is equal to angle 6. Because in a congruent triangle, all three sides, corresponding sides are equal to each other. Therefore, it follows that these two properties are true. And the angles, corresponding angles are also equal. Therefore, angle 5 has to be equal to angle 6. So, this was the third rule which proves as to the congruency of a triangle. You can follow us on our channel at www.youtube.com track Jain 1979 and learn many more hundreds of such videos.